just a little um, tactics about your winger play. So this is the winger here and two center forwards, right? Midfielder has the ball. So if the winger takes a position out wide, he pulls away from the defender, right? Out wide. Now the defender, his line of sight is here. So he's looking at the ball. He's looking at the center mid. This is difficult for him because if he has to now turn his head all the time to see the man, as soon as he turns his head, he can't see the ball. When he's focusing on the ball, he can't see the man. It leads, if this winger gets wide, it leads to a good through ball through, in and behind, right? Good position by the winger. Compared to if the winger sat directly in front of that defender, now he can see the man and the ball. It makes it too easy on the defender. However, if the winger wanted to take up a position far inside, in between, in between the lines, the defensive line uh, of the back four and then the midfield line, this presents a problem. Now does the defender commit and leave all this space in behind? Or does he let him float in between the lines and then he could pick up the ball and hit through balls to the forwards? It's a very difficult situation here. Now, the way that you exploit this is have your wing back come down. So if the, if the defender now says, okay, I'm going to go with the winger and commits inside to the winger, this is going to leave all this space in behind for the wing back to come in. Next, if the defender comes all the way out wide to get the winger, now the wing back can make that run in there, exploiting the space that was left, right? So again, your two central forwards, these are all the different things the winger can do and kind of the ramifications of his positioning. Now, what you don't want to do is, we hear this all the time about filling the same lane. If these two fill the same lane, it doesn't make sense. Because there's nowhere for him to go. There's nowhere for him to go. This is what you want to avoid. So if he pops in, he stays out. Okay? Next, there is that rare occasion where the wingers now can actually make this run all the way in. They could peel off. They could even continue on this run occasionally through. That can happen as well. That's not as much. You're not going to see that as much. But you don't want to restrict your winger to only a couple different movements. You want to give that winger the freedom sometimes. You'll even see wingers interchange positions. You want to keep people guessing sometimes and the movement becomes more difficult. Mm -hmm. um, depending on where you are. In the Thanks for tuning in. As always, check out my blog, CoachDiBernardo.com. Also, other YouTube stations, Marcus DiBernardo, that's for all my training sessions, weekly soccer rant for little sarcastic humor, my soccer instructional books at Amazon.com. Just look under my author central page under Marcus DiBernardo, my cognitive soccer online coaching diploma course at SoccerSmartTraining.com. And also, you can contact me through email at CoachDiBernardo at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.